Welcome back to the channel. This is Jonathan. I'm officially home here in Florida. Had a almost short of a week time that I was spending with family uh, in North Carolina, as well as uh, some friends in Augusta, Georgia. So if you haven't had a chance to check out my last few videos, I ended up picking up the first appearance of Ultron at a place called Heroes Aren't Hard to Find in Charlotte, North Carolina. Ended up picking up some some action figures, some of these figures, as well as some, I think, another one or two. And essentially, more or less a short box full of comic books from visiting different stores um, in my little travels. So Christmas didn't exactly go exactly how we had planned or were expecting. We were supposed to have um, Christmas with some family in-laws. And unfortunately, uh, the whole family, their whole family, had gotten sick. And so um, whatever plans we had to eat with them or officially what our dinner was supposed to be, uh, they didn't pan out. So we had enough time to, I guess, get some food from Honey Bay Cam and essentially enjoy it in a hotel lobby. So it wasn't a total um, disappointment. Um, I was jokingly saying that we were going to have like a Christmas type, Christmas uh, story type dinner, um, but we didn't get to have that experience. Uh, shout out to Remy Q Studios who did experience that. So uh, Tuesday, I ended up going shopping um, in Augusta, Georgia. Uh, yesterday was my last day. Had, like I said, a lot of driving to do and um, kind of tired. I didn't want to do a video yesterday. Had a lot of orders to ship out to eBay. Had maybe like one cancellation. One person wasn't able to to wait, I guess, till today to get their book, you know, items shipped out. But um, feel better today. Much better. Um, unpacked. Got the laundry going. You know, the house was clean. Everything was great. Not, nothing, you know, worried about. Ended up getting um, a package from Sam, the cover collector. So that'll be something that I open up last. So stick around for that. So Tuesday, uh, going into Tuesday, I ended up meeting up with Mark with Legion of Comics. And uh, the first place we ended up going to was the Augusta Book Exchange. So if you didn't know, this this actually looks like Paul and Donna. <laughs> and it was a pleasure meeting both of you. I appreciate um, just the friendliness and ease of being in your store, being a new customer, essentially. Uh I would say, you know, it was well laid out. Everything was easy to find. Had a nice selection of uh, comics. There was some toys there. And they had bags and boards, which I probably should have gotten. But um, I did pick up three things. The first thing I picked up was uh, Ultimate Fantastic Four number 30. This is the first cover appearance of the Marvel Zombies. So I was very happy to find that there. And something that um, I just started reading that I enjoyed was uh, Primordial. So I needed to pick up issues number uh, two and three. So I was going to read these on the way back home, but um, we got up too early and you kind of split up the driving. She drove first and then I drove afterwards and uh, just didn't really feel like doing anything but just relaxing in the drive. So the uh, next place we ended up going to was Dead Media Collectibles. I believe the shop owner was Angel. So it was nice meeting him. It was nice going through um, his store. It's a smaller store, but um, definitely had great stuff to see. Some vintage toys that you probably wouldn't just find, you know, like anywhere, but maybe eBay. Um, so it was a nice looking to, to see what he had. Had some nice books. I ended up picking only two things up. Uh, Ultimate Marvel Team Up number five. This is the first Ultimate uh, Nick Fury, who um, more or less resembles more of the um, Samuel L. Jackson version versus the um, original Nick Fury. So I was very happy to find this book. This is Marvel Team Up Spider Man and Captain Brit Britain number 66. And so this is the second U.S. appearance of Captain Britain. But most importantly, it's the first full appearance of Arcade and Murder World. So that was, um, that's always been kind of like a character I kind of like. Um, I remember reading, I think, a storyline, I think Chris Claremont's storyline in X-Men. So I think it's a good character to collect or, or buy. 
I, for ten bucks, I thought it was a good buy. And it's definitely, uh, I would say, a mid, a mid grade or you know, book, very fine or higher. So I was happy to add that. So the next place I ended up going to, and um, kind of have an interesting story, you know, once once I go into what I picked up. So we went to Second and Charles, and uh, their books were buy five get five free. So essentially, all of these books that you see here, I got for 97 cents. So this is Spawn, I want to say... Spawn 311, I think. So that was a dollar. They had some earlier Spawn, Spawn 13. This was a 97 cents. So this one, I believe, is... Um, ASM 298 homage and this is I think the virgin version no, no trade dress or whatever so this was really good for a dollar I couldn't really pass up you know these books they were just waiting there Mark was there he saw it's like very interesting couldn't believe that these books were there for a dollar oh wait hold on here's another spawn book 97 cents picked up some invincible for 97 cents Then, this beauty was just sitting there. I love that 300, you know, homage. And then here we go. Here's a 301 homage of his own work. Another early book, number 5. This was 97 cents. And I wouldn't want to say this. This copy is really, really good. There isn't like, you know, it's not heavy with spy, spine ticks or anything. So if you watch my last video, I was kind of talking about how, sadly, I, I collect New Mutants 87 homage, which is actually another homage of, I think, um, Avengers 149 or 39 or 45, but um, found another cover for 97 cents there. So, you know, growing up, um, I was reading books when this came out. I believe I may have this copy, but for 97 cents, I figured I'd pick it up. I ended up picking up some profit books. The only reason why I picked up this, and not because it's option, but because I like Stephen Platt's artwork. It's just, you know, something that I grew up liking and enjoying. So, I'm pretty sure I have those. Maybe I don't have one of them. Ended up picking up Rob Liefeld. You know, Major X. I know not everybody's a huge fan, but for 97 cents, I didn't have it, and I figured I'd get it. Another Major X. This was a nice copy of 91. New Mutants 91. Also a Liefeld cover. For 97 cents I just couldn't couldn't pass it up. And then you know because it was you know buy five get five free. I had to find another book to you know get five free. So I picked up Nightcrawler number one. Thought it was a nice cover. So while we were there um, at Second and Charles. Uh, there was a young guy named Fred. He ended up uh, asking some questions about, uh, I want to say it was like a S Superman story arc. And Mark seemed to know exactly what he was talking about and was able to help him. It was like Mark, Mark's like the, the, the DC Bible of, of knowledge. And he was just like, boom, in his head, he's probably like going, you know, searching in his head, you know, for the knowledge. And he was able to tell the guy, yeah, that's this, that's that. And so the guy was um, like seemed like a new collector. He was interested in certain things, and Mark was able to like guide him and help him. So it was kind of cool um, seeing that side of Mark. You know, very friendly, um, interested in helping this guy. You know, find what he was looking for. Even though Mark is not an employee of Second and Charles, he was there like literally helping him out. And I was like. You know this guy he's got he's got a YouTube channel you should follow it so I kind of did like a shameless plug to, to Mark's YouTube channel um, so hopefully he's, he subscribes to Mark and maybe he's the next you know community member that you end up seeing in chat but it was nice meeting Fred I'm sure um, he'll probably be checking out Mark's channel because he was very interested in in a lot of DC stuff that Mark and him were talking about so it was nice seeing that side of Mark seeing Mark interact with um, someone you know that he didn't even know 
So Mark, Mark's a great guy, if you didn't know. His family's great. It was wonderful meeting them. Um, I just, I, I have nothing but praises to say, you know, about Mark. And he is a shorts and flip-flop guy. But we ended up going, um, we ended up going out to eat, spent some time together, got to meet Kyle, Monkey, and uh, Finn. And they are absolutely like the most adorable family couple, you know, on YouTube. And they are just as wonderful and great in person as they are online. So shout out to Mark. So um, last place we ended up going to was this place called Mima Had One. And it was like a um, antique shop. I had never been there, obviously. I'd never been in the area. Um, it's like an older style home. And inside was room upon room upon room upon floor upon um, basements, attic. I mean, this, this place had like, it was like a, 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 a clown car effect. You went in there and it was bigger than um, inside than what, you, what it looks like on outside. And, it, you know, it just seemed like it was endless upon endless amounts of stuff in this place, um, rooms and such. So I'm going to tell you right now, um, I'm going to show you something I picked up and pause the video. I want you to comment and tell me what you think this is. And I want to see if you were right. So I, I had asked Mark because I picked up this figure and I said, Mark, do you know what this is? And he goes, no, I have no idea what it is. So if you have any idea what it is and you think you know what it is, stop the video right now, comment what you think it is, and I want to see if you know what this figure is. Because he couldn't figure it out. But I, I saw it and I knew exactly. Alright, you ready for the answer? This is Dave from Alvin and the Chipmunks. So this is from 1976? 75. This was made by Ideal Toys. This was $5, so I looked up on Worth Point because I didn't think there was any recent listings for this figure. It's going to be something that I'm going to resell in my store, um, but I thought it was cool for 5 bucks. You don't really like see, you know, older toys, you know, actually complete with, you know, the original outfit. For 5 bucks, that was great. So the next thing I picked up, it kind of hits, you know, home to me because... I grew up, you know, a, a Knicks fan, um, you know, Oakley, Mason, Starks, Ewing, th that was like my team growing up, you know, I, I gotta say, I was happy to find this, this is a Hardwick Classics 1990 to 91 Knicks jersey of my favorite Knicks player, John Starks. So this is a medium, but I kind of feel like it fits a little bit bigger. You know, jerseys typically fit bigger than what they say they are. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to keep it. I would love to wear it, but uh, I thought that was a great find. I don't typically find um, jerseys when I go out hunting. I used to collect jerseys a lot. Would find them at, like, Goodwill for whatever the price of the shirt is, $3.99. Sometimes they'd be $9.99. And that's kind of like what kind of got me started into reselling was I was going to Goodwill to find things. And um, jerseys were one of the things that, you know, were usually typically like underpriced, whether they were football, hockey, whatever. Um, and I would buy them. And even if I didn't like the player, if I knew it was a good player like Carmelo Anthony or Stoudemire or who, whoever the player is, um, if I knew that the jersey was worth buying for 3 or $4, you know, I would buy it and... You know, there's usually a pretty good market. There's a lot of people that collect, you know, vintage jerseys. So pretty much that kind of wraps up, you know, like my trip. I had a great time. Um, me and Mark was, was essentially the highlight of, of this whole trip. Um, being able to spend time with his family. Just looking forward to, you know, doing that again. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I ended up getting, like I said, uh, a package when I got home from Sam, the cover collector. Thank you for being an awesome part of the comic book community that has welcomed me so graciously. Wishing you and your loved ones a very happy 2021 holiday season, Sam. So I kind of got to see what everybody was, you know, getting in their in their packages. So I kind of wanted to um, see if I got the same thing as well. 
So it looks like I got this really dope cover of Venom. I don't know what issue that is. I'll have to look it up. So I got some stickers, which I absolutely love stickers now. And I also did get his, his variant stickers, all these different colors. Very, very cool. And then he got his daughter's sticker, the, the mini collector in there. And then he also gave me Wolverine number one. And I want to say this is, looks like a homage cover. This is dope. Very, very happy to have this. So thank you, Sam. I appreciate this gift. And I actually have something going to be heading out to you here in the next day or so, if you're watching the video. And that's it. Got a bunch of books. Um, pretty much that's it. <laughs> that's all I got to say. I'm, I'm so happy. Thank you so much for your, your hospitality, Mark. I know this is probably a little bit of a longer video, but uh, thank you guys. I appreciate the, the, the love and support of uh, everyone in the comic book community, YouTube community. Thank you for everything that you guys do. If I don't catch you, um, you know, by the new year, hope you guys have a happy and, and safe new year, man. Thank you guys. Thank you everyone. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Bye.